Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Today I've got something really cool to show you. This is actually something I've wanted to do for quite a long time, but I couldn't figure out a way to do it until the 14W2C snapshot. Um, whoops. And it's a claw game. Uh, you've probably seen these in arcades or at your local Denny's. Uh, you, you have a little claw you can move around and you can push the button to try and pick something up. So if I push the button, um, we, it looks like we were able to pick up a witch and she comes out in this little tray here and now she's ours. <laughs> um, so yeah, I can control it by standing on these pressure plates over here and you can even go diagonally. So if I step on both sets of pressure plates at once, you can see the villager guy, or sorry, the golem claw moves diagonally. Let's go this way. And uh, did we get it? Yeah, he's moving diagonally. <laughs> so, um, so it's really pretty flexible. And and then the button, of course, dips down and tries to pick something up. What did we get this time? I think we got something. It was a wolf. Yeah, it's kind of stuck in the ground. This is a little bit glitchy. This is a long-standing bug in Minecraft where sometimes things will appear in the wrong place. So we got various prizes. There's creepers and ocelots and wolves, witches. There's one slime. I'd really like to get that slime if I can. <laughs> it's the rare slime. Oh, he's getting away from me. Uh, <laughs> come on. Come on, buddy. Let's try it. Push. Ah, oh, I didn't get it. got the witch again. Uh, let's, try, let's try getting that slime one more time. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think I'm close enough. Well, I got a creeper anyway. <laughs> he's down in there. He's kind of hidden. But yeah, he's there. You can see him. Um, as for redstone, this is all the redstone here. This is everything that runs the game. It's really not too complicated. Well, at least there's not a lot of redstones. <laughs> redstones. Uh, it, it, uh, it is a little bit complicated how it works, but I'll try and explain. What we've got here is actually a stack of villagers. Well, you can see some of the villagers here, and it even peaks above the top. Um, beneath the iron golem, there's more villagers. They're just invisible, so you can't see them, and they're all invul invulnerable. And uh, so th that's how that's the that's what it's made of. How does it work, though? So let's see. These pressure plates. When I stand on, say, these pressure plates, it's going to turn on a comparator clock over here, and we'll, we can actually see that. We can see the comparator clock goes pulses rapidly, and it tries to push the uh, the thing off to the right. Similarly, over here, we have another comparator clock pushes the stack off to the left and it does that by using a teleport command with a new at e selector so I'm not gonna go over exactly what this does but basically this one tries to move the villager stack in the negative in the, Z, in the X direction negative 0.2 and um, it's got some other stuff in here that basically makes sure it can't go past the left edge of the uh, of the box and so that's that's how it's uh, stays in bounds and will not it will not accidentally escape the box because there's restrictions on how far out it can go. Um, so that's that's how all four of the directions work. It's actually very simple. Uh, and then back here we've got uh, this thing just deletes everything. This thing recreates the stack of villagers and, and iron golems. It's basically just a very long command with a bunch of stacks. And uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. But anyway, I'm not going to go over that either. Uh, of course, you can download the map and, and explore exactly what's going on here. This thing, basically, is is what happens when you push the button. So it, we're using a redstone, a very fast clock here that uses a redstone block and a set block command with destroy. Anyway, so it's just checking for the stone button being pushed. So when you push the button, it's not actually triggering any redstone. You can see this is just floating in midair. It's just, it's just triggering that uh, test for a block command. And that does some stuff. And so what it does over here, it, we can see, is it moves the villager stack downward by, in the y direction, which is um, up and down, downwards by one, moves it downwards by one, same thing again, same thing again, and then it moves it back up uh, four times, one each. And so when we saw that the villager stack extended above the top of this thing, that's actually important so that when you press the button, there's, uh, there's something above the thing so that it, it has room to extend downwards. And so you start to see those villagers come in when when that extends downwards. Uh, so that's how the claw dips, and then the way it actually grabs a mob, you probably see, saw the uh, minecart. So we summon a minecart and we teleport it to the golem, and um, and then we uh, basically after about mm, what's this like a little over half a second, we teleport that minecart into the tray, then we kill the minecart and clear out the. Uh, the item that, that that spawned when the when the minecart was killed. So basically, teleport a minecart 
Uh, okay, so this thing, this stack, dips down, and the iron golem's near the ground. Then we then we teleport the minecart in right where it is. You can see there's rails on the ground. Those are actually important. And then, so the minecart's there with the rails, and a mob that's near a minecart on rails will try and get in it. And so if anyone does get in it, when the, when the minecart's teleported over here, um, the mob will teleport with it, and it'll be in the tray, and then when we kill the minecart, the mob stays there. So that's how it all works. Uh, like I said, it is a little bit complicated, but uh, but it there's not too much in the in the way of redstone behind it, which is really cool. This is this type of thing was not at all possible. Let's try and get that slime. Um, not at all possible before the uh, at e selector, which allows you to teleport around uh, mobs and and other stuff. Yeah, we can't quite get it. <laughs> mm. Oh, we got it. We got the rare slime. I think he's gonna die though. Oh, what? <laughs> All right, be free, slime. Anyway, if you'd like to download the map and look around, see how it all works, modify it for yourself, there's a link in the video description and you can download it. That's about it. Thanks for watching.